1996 Ford Ranger. We don't see these here in San Francisco, California. This thing, if you do any work to it, it's totaled out. It's basically, the labor rate is so high, unfortunately, these are not worth repairing. So, how many of you guys remember these uh, old um, SF10 compressors? Notorious problems. The FX15 was even worse. Remember Black Death? Now, Black Death was a term used that was basically notorious for one particular compressor. It happened in many, but the worst was the FX-15, especially in the days of the transition from R12 when they tried to use the original compressor design with R134. So I have a problem here. I'm losing vacuum. And uh, I have this one off and disconnected right now, but the system is losing vacuum. And I suspect because this was an old pattern problem with this vehicle, this is one of those vehicles where the shaft seal could not hold a deep vacuum. And this is being repaired even though it was a total out because sentimental values, the customer, it was her father's. So she's paying for it to be repaired. Um, and I'm gonna try to save this without condemning their system because I don't wanna let air into the system. So I'm gonna go with that extra procedure that I've done videos on before where I suspect that this leak that I'm having is the front shaft seal. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a little bit of refrigerant in the system just to run it and get lubricant and get the front shaft seal spinning. So I could possibly get the shaft seal in a condition where it can hold a vacuum without losing vacuum and bleeding air into the system like it is right now. And this unit, this car, this Ford, F, this Ford Ranger, only has 33,000 miles on it. Check that out. Let's see if I'll focus there. Come on, Apple. There you go. Or, yeah, or 3,000? 3, 3,000, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, 33,000 miles on it. And uh, and the year on this thing, did I say the year already? Is a 1996, nine of 95. So it's a 1996 if the Apple will ever, ever wanna focus. Because it's an Apple, it's a piece of shit. Um, so that's gonna be the story. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna put a little, I'll probably put about five ounces of refrigerant in there. That's it. Uh, it's cold out, it's only like 55 degrees right now. So the pressure of five ounces of refrigerant will be more than enough for the pressure of this cycling clutch switch to get above 42, 44 PSI. That will engage and allow the compressor to come on. Then I could run the compressor, it'll build up some presser, uh, pressure and it'll get the lubricant circulating, it'll get lubricant up to the front shaft seal, it'll get high pressure on the front of the shaft seal as it's spinning, and it might recondition the shaft seal because this vehicle has been sitting for years. And uh, then I'll recover that little bit of refrigerant back out and then put it on the vacuum pump and try it all over again and see if I have saved the system from, you know, getting the shaft seal to vacuum so I could pull a good vacuum on this customer's vehicle. It got a, a brand new condenser. Uh, it, it hit a pole and this was like a big V. This was all smashed in back to here. And uh, so the shop is saving this. And uh, I wanna see if I could do a good job for the customer and give them good working air conditioning back because uh, they're saving this, what's considered here in San Francisco, California, a old relic that is Unfortunately, insurance companies total out and then it costs so much for repairs. Every repair on the vehicle is worth more than the, you know, the Cali Blue Book value of the vehicle. So we'll get on with this. I'll come back after I get it started up. I might show you a short clip of it running. Well, it only has like four or five ounces of refrigerant in it. And then we'll come back on after video two, we'll come back on video three and we'll see if I was successful and able to maintain a deep vacuum. And you can see in the few minutes I've been talking, it going back and forth, oh, I got it open. But um, yeah, it's been, it dropped two PSI, a vacuum, just me talking here, going over this vehicle. All right, let's return on video number three and see if it works.